This is the beginning of an enormously important project for the people of East Tennessee, particularly the Oak Ridge area. Today's event highlights a significant role and impact of our skilled professionals at EM, the Department of Energy's Department of Environmental Management. A great day for the Department of Energy, the Oak Ridge Office of Environmental Management, and UCOR. Today we kicked off the start of the early site preparation, which is the construction part of the Outfall 200 Mercury Treatment Facility, a facility that's going to be needed to allow some of the future demolition and cleanup work here at the Y-12 site. There's a lot of mercury in old buildings here and in the ground, and we don't want to begin to tear those buildings down and get rid of the mercury until we make absolutely sure that it doesn't run into the water that affects the people who live in this area. It's great to be with all of you here at Oak Ridge as we break ground on this mercury treatment facility, a key facility with an important role at a crucial site. This particular site, the Y-12 complex, offers national defense capabilities that are indispensable to our country and advance our security and stability, not only here, but around the world. Mercury contamination has been a problem for the Y-12 site for many, many years. Back when mercury was used during the nuclear projects out here at the site, they used mercury quite extensively. It has made its way into the water of the Upper East Fork Poplar Creek. This facility will allow that water to be captured and treated. It provides a key critical protective measure for removing mercury from the surface waters exiting the Bear Creek Valley here. Upwards of 3,000 gallons per minute during normal operation, as well as capturing stormwater flow up to 40,000 gallons per minute. So this facility is needed to begin that cleanup effort on Poplar Creek. A lot of work behind the scenes to generate the design. Mucor's design team and our design partner, CH2M, have spent a long time developing our project design. 418 drawings and thousands of pages of construction specs. And so to actually have it all roll up to the point where we get to, to break ground here is exciting. It's a very important facility because it is the first step in making sure that we can complete the rest of the construction and deconstruction of the facilities here at Oak Ridge. It's an exciting day for us, exciting day for the staff. I um, show it gives that commitment that we are going to continue clean up here and that even though ETPP is done, there's still work here to be done. It's a very exciting day to be here. Uh, it's a very important first step for this particular facility and uh, we applaud uh, all of the good work that's been done and everything that will be done here at Oak Ridge. Field work is going to start November 30th and it'll run through probably next fall. One of the key tenets of our organization is we finish what we start and we follow through on our commitments and we constantly seek ways to reduce risk. And this actually does all three of those. We follow through on our commitment, we have finished what we started, we said we would finish this and so as we went through the regulatory process, we finished the design on time and now we've broken ground on time and so we're on track for meeting that 2022 date of having this facility built and operational so that then we can move forward with the rest of cleanup.